I'll show you. I'll show you what my practice has gotten me. Nowhere. Oh, they broke up their chains so miserably. Why? What's happening here? Assessment was right. They, like stacking willy nilly could get you a good four to six chain, but like you can't build off that. It might be show. It's potion. Let's time. get to work. What is that mess happening over there? What was that? Learned fool, I thought you were. Get out of here. It's Michael Jixby Streams, and we're at the right White Rose Inn in Chain Echoes. Let's go. Okay. 
I guess we're just gonna go that way. We're the most important person to have. If you want to make small talk, you're in the wrong place. But since I am drunk, I can make an exception. Do you even know I own an airship? The Himmelskaiser. And I even have a crew member. We traveled to Val Valandas because the Hoog was supposed to be anchored here and our ship needed repairs. I had myself dropped off in Farnsport to earn a little money. Once the repairs were to be done after a couple of weeks, I was supposed to be picked up. I wish we had had better timing. Then we could have flown to Tormund on the Himmelskaiser. That would have saved us the trouble. But fortunately, we are now through Kortara in one piece. I just hope this quest is worth the effort because I have to get back to Farnsport somehow too. Usually, my daily life consists of only writing and traveling. Rarely do I get the pleasure of trying out my musical arts. Did you know that when I was a young little boy, I was a traveling showman and toured all over Aldria with a troupe? Even as a child, I had a very deep voice and could delight the audience with it. When my magical talent was recognized, I was sent to the University of Nisa. My master, Bartholomew, suggested that I devote myself to musical magic. It was the perfect fit for me. When I left the castle, I wanted me to make sure I not to make any naive mistakes. I knew my savings wouldn't last forever, and I would have had to do hard, exhausting work that could push me to my limits. I was prepared for that tough world out there, or so I thought. But the real problem wasn't doing the work. The real problem was finding work to begin with. Rob and I st almost starved to death. Fortunately, I found a job at City Guard and was able to finance us for a few months. Then a job opened up for me too. Rob was concerned that it might be too dangerous, but we did it anyway. We had enough to we had we have had enough of dry bread and water and soup. That was the first instructive lesson for me after I left the castle. About the living living beings in Aldria, there are five of their kind: the plants, the monsters, the animals, the humans, and the gods. This chapter will focus on humans. They are numerous, from different species, and well documented. The most common species are the ape-like humans. Since time immemorial, they have been found in every corner of the world and were represented in every social class. Back in the olden times, species other than the Hulms used to live in their own communities. That was before the War of the Thousand Kingdoms. The small but wise Mamorians, for example, founded the Vati culture. The elegant Hulm like Yves created the Galtina of Empire. Nowadays, they all live intermingled and only rarely can you find the villages belonging to only one species. An example of this are the Sova and Hecandria. Of the lizard like Lisbian, Lisbon, there were, of course, there were once two those that came from the desert and loved the sun, and those that rarely left the water. One who was found in Nabrelia, and the other in Miranda. The most exciting species of this is that of the Gimel, because they are the oldest and have no visual relation in the animal kingdom. Uh, while the Thera resemble predatory cats, the Polka resemble pigs, and the Fioras resemble fish, the Gimel resemble jello. Their bodies do not have a uniform shape. They instead, take on the appearance of the individual creature wills for short periods of time. They can separate their bodies and join with others or other species. When they do this, they share memories and experiences. The gimel are so rare that little else is known about them. A box! Lava Gorgon. Resistance? Hell yeah. Women like Sienna are just my type, but unfortunately she doesn't seem to have any interest. Remember, Glenn, it's important to recognize when your attempts are futile. Some men think that by being persistent they're proving their love to the woman, but really they're just creepy. Don't be creepy, Glenn. A scram? A strange one at that. Is something wrong? We heard someone screaming. Oh, I didn't expect you to notice. What are you talking about? What happened out there? Oh, I think I know what it was. How about you explain to my friends, landlord? With pleasure. Please follow me outside. The reason for the scream is this flower here. What do you... What do you mean? The flower can scream. If I pick one, yes. Let me explain. As you know, there's a soul in every living being, whether animal, human, monster, or plant. It is developed differently depending on being. A, pl 
plant does not have much of it. A monster is a corrupt version. When a living being dies, a, the soul leaves the body and flows into the maelstrom, a vortex in which all the other ether of this world is united. In this whirlpool, the soul dissolves and mixes with other souls. When a living being is born, a new soul forms in the whirlpool of ether and enters the body. It is an eternal cycle. These plants are very special. People here call them white roses because their true name is unknown in Volandis. It's actually called the Weeping Mary. It is a special characteristic in that when it dies, you can see how the soul leaves its body and disappears into thin air. It sounds like a human scream. How terrifying. And quite annoying for many farmers. You seem to have a soft spot for this plant. Your whole garden is full of them. The scream may be disturbing, but their appearance is beautiful. Did you hear that? What was that scream? <laughs> princess? Where are you, princess? Let us draw the curtain for tonight. Many fine people find the soup disgusting, and if it's not prepared properly, they are right. One must remove the muddy taste of the toad by letting it swim alive in clear water. That's nonsense. Are you still drunk? It's the muddy taste that gives the toad soup the right aroma. Mud is nothing more than damp dirt. You don't mean to tell me that dirt carries taste. Hey, I've been eating both variations. Your toad soup lacks any taste. Oh, Sienna, have you slept well? Where is she? Where? Where is she? Who are you talking about? Len, she wasn't in our room. I thought she was out here. Are you talking about the young girl? She left the inn with the first race in the morning, seeming to be in a hurry. What? Why would she not wait for us? That can't be true. She does not want to pay us off. I don't believe that. She did not seem particularly stingy. Maybe she has realized that you have not earned your reward. After all, she traveled half the way here only to be with that redhead. Whatever the reason may be, let's follow her. We should catch up with her quickly. Thank you for your hospitality. You're welcome anytime. Please visit us again soon. No map. Keep on the accessory that prevents silence on the mage. So there is a class emblem around here somewhere. Step into your woods. Alpha wolves and wolves.
Taijutsu. Poison shot! Because we don't have the full party. Right, right, right. Ooh. Found it. Found the berry trash out. Defense buff up. <laughs> the first hikers from the Kotar Mountains arrived so early, you must have slept at Old Dime Birds. Indeed, we are on our way to Tormund. Our companion has gone ahead. Have you seen her? No, unfortunately not. Are you sure? Don't you want, don't you want to know what she looks like to begin with? 
This time in the morning, when people from Torment's direction pass by here, nobody crosses the mountains in the dark. So if someone comes from your direction at this time of day, they probably slept at the White Rose Inn. I would know someone passing by, believe me. <laughs> the advantage of Aiden is close, but we should ask Stan instead of interrogating this dubious figure. Dubious? Do what you want, but if your companion was a woman, you should hurry. <laughs> what do you mean? Never mind, never mind, just a ramblings of a dubious figure. Farewell. Let us make haste. A group of violent scientists have set up camp to the west. I wonder what they're looking for. As you travel northeast, you'll reach the flower fields of Perpe uh, Perpetua. Be sure to pack some medicines that you can protect yourself from ailments. more powerful. Sweet. You come from real Danberts? Dan Whew, I wouldn't want to spend a single night there. He's a strange fella. There are a lot of scary rumors about him. It started when he came to Aiden from Otormund. At that time, there was no inn here. But instead of opening one of the village, he moved closer to Cortara. I wonder if she's not actually missing. Or that like, she was taken away. Bolus. 66 bucks. 66 schmeckles. On the way to Tormon, you've almost made it. There is only one forest bigger than the Fjord Woods on Valandis, the Inner Sanctum. It's forbidden to go there, and if you ask me, it's too dangerous as well. I heard fairies live there and play tricks on humans. A few months ago, a mob set up for the old, for the old Dianbert. The reason was Elena, the daughter of our fisherman. She wanted to meet her fiance and set up for the entrance of the Cortara Mountains. However, she never arrived there. She must have passed by the White Rose Inn, but Dianbert never would not hear of it. He could have missed her, of course, but he was suspiciously sure she never passed there. People thought he was a strange guy anyway. The mob then turned his house upside down, but couldn't find anything. Supposedly, Diane Bird of the White Rose was once a scientist. People say he was researching something forbidden and was run out of town. Can you believe it? I bet it has something to do with human experimentation. Now he's a simple innkeeper. Or he wants us to think that. Can people really change? I have a really bad feeling about this. This Diane Bird. Normally, I have a pretty good sense from a, for a person's character, but I couldn't get out much of him. Do you think Len is possibly still there? You're not going to tell me that the guy kidnapped Len while I was sleeping next to her. 
My sleep's not very deep, I'll have you know. We don't know if you mixed anything through the drinks, though. You can't be serious. Enough, we have to go back. He's right. If we go if we're wrong about our assumptions, she will surely be able to make her match her way to Torm on her own. But if the rumors are true, let's head back. Keep away from the western part of Fjord Woods. Forest dragons can be found there. Living in the woods, you may have lost the ability to breathe fire, but it's still very dangerous. Contents, continents of the Aldrea form a ring. If you look at them in the form of a clock, from 1 to 4 o'clock, you'll find the continent of Wappen, the largest of the continents. Not, here, not only the free cities share the landscape, but also the Ironsreich, the Republic of Dorver, and the city-state of Vati. In this far north, where the climate is harsh, live the High Brothers. The land of vast plains changes to the south into the largest mountain range in Aldrea, Ramunda, before heading north-southwest to the temperate plains and southeast to the wild jungles of the Vati. Continuing to follow the clock hand between 4 and 7 o'clock, you will find the elongated continent of Do. Due to old documents of sunken, dr drunken sailors, the continent has long been wrongly classified as a chain of islands. Here, the Sunna and Hana populations lived in an eternal war, which was already instigated before the War of the Thousand Kingdoms. The peace treaty at the end of the Fifth Era, which was forced upon them, did not change much. Between 7 and 9 o'clock lies the continent of Brandon. Brandon which has been completely ruled by the Galtina Empire since time immemorial. Unfortunately, there's not much left of either the Empire or, nor the continent itself, as they are completely devoured by the Fungus. Between 9 and 11 lies Jadar, which is dominated by the Doma Desert. Here lies the Empire of Revolution to the south and Nab Nabrelia to the north. At 12 o'clock, we find our beautiful home, Volandis. Too big to call it an island, too small for a continent. Finally, the island of Miranda exists in the middle of the ring. This ends the tour around the known, our, own, our known world. Outside of the continents lie the ring seas, and what is outside of them, nobody knows. Only the rock mass Pangea, Pangea in the north was discovered beyond the ring seas. But except for the coast, that where the mighty Baki lived, nothing is known about this place. with the town yet though this place are these cells we need to find land fast the experiment was a success I was able to transfer a plant's ether into another plant its magical potential increased drastically but that was only the easy part
The results of my experiments are astonishing. I was able to put the soul of a plant into a monster. Again, the magical potential increased. Unfortunately, the monster died. My colleagues will not like to hear it, but I have to change my test subject. I test objects. I think we're gonna get a full metal alchemist scenario here. The Court of Ethics has banned me from Tormund. <laughs> Wage war over for over a century, but cry foul when a few lives are lost. Without human experimentation, I won't be able to get any results. Guy is making too much noise. Progress. The human test subjects increased their magic abilities immensely, but similar to the monsters, no one survived the experiments. However, I succeeded multiple times in embedding the human souls into plants. They survived the procedure and are blooming in white splendor throughout my garden. Uh-oh. That means, no, there were human souls in there, those flowers beforehand. Princess, what you do? You, what are you doing here, princess? She is unconscious, but otherwise fine. Let us take her and leave quickly. I head straight into my trap. If only I had moved to tor onto Tormund and not listened to the gossip of the villagers. You lousy piece of shit! I'll kill you. Do not waste your strength. The way I see it, we will spend the next few days having a good time together. If you think these bars will prevent me from slitting your throat, then. I'm pretty sure they'll hold your anger. They've been tested several times, so calm down for now. And you are involved in these things as well, child. What is this all about? You know me as Dianberg, the landlord of this cozy inn, but I'm actually a former scientist from Tormund. And here, this here's my little laboratory. What sick shit have you been doing here? Glad you asked. For centuries, the magical potential of all races have been declining from generation to generation. In a few decades, nobody will be able to cast magic anymore. My goal is to tickle out this potential. For this reason, you're abducting people. If I can infuse several souls into one living being, I might be able to raise its magical potential tremendously. So I developed a procedure to catch and infuse these souls. I obviously need a test subjects, though. I started with flowers, but eventually switched to monsters, then humans. Fortunately, I forgot one thing. A soul is not only a collection of ether, it is the collective consciousness of a living being. With this soul, I transfer not only ether, but also personalities and memories. It's like a sense of second identity would enter the body. The highly developed human mind broke immediately. It went insane. Theoretically, it was a success. The magical potential increased. If I had not killed itself, the body would have endured the strain and would have still be alive. Can you believe it? You, you did? You did this. You got Lynn, you're awake. I already thought their scream sounded differently. They're weeping Marie Marys in your garden, are they? Human souls I infused into flowers. Only some of them I might I must add. The ether makes them bloom even prettier. You're mad! A fully developed human mind that can see you and hear. Trapped inside a flower, deprived of everything. Nobody noticed the disappearance of so many people. Most of the people are here, travelers whose homes are far away and the Cortara Mountains are not considered very safe. If once a month a person disappeared, no one would think anything of it. Must I? But I must confess that maybe I opened it a bit. People have even got suspicious. All right. Thanks for answering my questions. In retrospect, I should have asked. So let's stop it here. You'll pay now. And how you do this, hmm? How? You don't actually think such a lousy law could keep me in, do you? Them. I'll never forgive this man. Len, are you able to walk? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just at a loss for words. But save them for now. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's good. That's a tough call. Killian and Victor have to be in the party at all times. Buff, buffs and debuffs are what I need. And heals are, all, are an obvious thing. But these guys are all, like, hard hitters. And I think they're going to get hit more often than I want. Weak to wind. Oh man, come on. Nice crit. Paralysis. How is everyone's skills anyway? Some of them are going to level up soon. But it's, it's not a big deal, but it's great. Man, I've already accrued like 300 TP a piece. Wow. Overdrive down! Nice. Box! It's got money in it. Nice crit. Oh, they know the value of AoEs as well. Too bad.
Okay, I was worried that was, I had too many moves, you know? But we're good, we're good. Actually, let me check their class skills. These are gonna be full someday. Ooh, these went up too, nice. I'll debuff you now. I do appreciate a healing move that does move too much. Box, a metal jerkin. Who can wear that? No, not her. Uh, ooh. No, that's oh, that does better mind, but it kind of messes everything else up. It's like I, I gotta start selling these things. Makes more sense. Oh, this is where he was. This is where he cut us off in the first place. We can't. We doubled back to get the treasure. Which might be right because like that's pretty good armor. Damn it, how did this happen? Where do you think you're going, child? Stop right there. Damn, Bert! Curses. There's nowhere left, you monster. Your abominable deeds will have an end now. Puh, are left to me. The girl? What are you waiting for? Go, or you'll get a beating. This magical potential impossible. Well, now you're lost for it, aren't you? <laughs> Arlet's the only one who survived the fusion of countless souls. 
You're not serious. I swear to you, shit face, you'll never get out of here alive. You do not get to decide that. Now go, Arlette, show them your power. I can steal from her at least. Let's get a debuff going. Take all of my damage. Strength fire, obviously. So many debuffs. Absorbs that damage. Wow, okay. Stacks up, huh? That's too bad. I'm gonna destroy you. Again. I could charge too. Take that. Thank you. 
What is this, Arlette? That can't be all you've got. It's over, Dame Bert. You brat, you're useless. Stop! Ah! What are you doing? Not the flowers. Stop it. My precious flowers. Ah! You just jumped off the, the, the mountain, huh? She lives. Her wounds are severe. I can only treat them temporarily. We have to bring her to a doctor. But are we doing her a favor? It is not for us to decide. Even in times of peace, one is not spared from the cruelty of man. If you think this is a particularly cruel example, then you haven't experienced much of the world yet. Are you telling me this is a common story to tell at a campfire? No, it's a common story to withhold at a campfire. There, that should do it. We have to go. Let's take her to Aiden. doctor will take care of her. Poor girl. I cannot fathom what she's been through. Thanks for solving the problem with Dane Bird. There have been a lot of gossip about him, but nobody would have thought that such cruelties were committed on his property. I must thank you as well. My daughter, Glenna, was probably one of his victims. She disappeared without a trace a few moons ago. That didn't suit her at all. When I think about what he did to her, we will leave for the White Rose Inn right away and take care of his property. I just wish I could strangle this monster with my own hands. Now shut up. Can a person who drag us out, please? <gasps> Sire will be quieter. The volume's not even the problem, tall face, but the content is talking crap. I can't listen to that. What do you mean? Please avoid the conversation. This is General Godfrey of Tyron. He usually comes here for a drink because the constant rain and torment depresses him too much, or so he says. He is not to be joked with. I do not know him. He must be new. Who are you? And we shouldn't get to know him. Remember Matthew? Keep our identity secret until we are in torment. It's not far anyway. This damn bird or what did he call wanted to change the world. He wanted to accomplish great deeds. This is admirable. Didn't you hear what he was doing? Of course I did. Do you know how many people stand in the way of progress and are crushed every day? The weak just died. No different to a good old fashioned war. How can Now be quiet. Why are you trying to tell me? You don't agree with me? Do you want to claim that the land of your daughter weighs more than progress? Killian, hold yourself back. Even if you beat him up and we run away, the village will surely see the consequences. Just father another daughter. It can't be that hard for you. You're breathing like rabbits. You probably remember the daughter where you fell upon your mother for the first time. Find a new victim there. You asshole! What'd you say? What do you think you're talking to? I, I. Glenn! Sorry! What have you done? He'll take revenge on the entire village. I. Can this day get any worse? He's asleep? Thank God, and you. I'm grateful for Dane Bird, but please leave now. If we're lucky, he'll have forgotten everything when he wakes up. First this Danbert, then General Godfrey. What's wrong with these people? Well, people have the potential to be as angels, and yet often they choose to act like demons. But we must not let it get us done. It is our job to make the world a better place. That's why we have to rebuild our group, Glenn. He'll just move on. We leave the village to the north. Are you well, Raphael? I heard a demon attack the banquet. I, I only got a few scratches from it. That's a relief. You're needed here. His Holiness is behaving strangely. How so? He closed half of all the churches in southern Pangaea and almost all orphanages in the free cities. Can you imagine the chaos that's going on right now? The citizens are terrified. They're losing their faith. He has his reasons. Only I do not see these reasons. I've already spoken to Sir Dolman. Inquisitor Ava, don't worry so much. This blade serves to judge heretics. It has no other function. This topic does not fall within your jurisdiction. We are the swords of the church. You don't have to tell me that. But if I do know His Holiness's, His Holiness's targets, where do I strike? If I do not know His Holiness's targets, where do I strike? A fool does not need to see. It must be done against the hands of His Holiness. His Holiness does not need to Inquisitor Wyatt. He doesn't need to see. We'll talk another time.
Look at that. Raphael, why are you back? There were complications. I had to. Yes, yes, yes. I already heard about it. A demon or something. Have you forgotten your orders? You're the most reliable sword I have a hand, and therefore it hurts me all the more that you return so early. Forgive me, Your Holiness. I will leave for Valandus immediately. It is in good hands with me. Under my supervision, the church will be able to expand even further. Why in Valandus, if I may ask Your Holiness? Valandus is a swamp of the wicked. As you know, war has been raging there for years. It is time that we show the pagans the true way. Let Raphael see to it that we gain a foothold there. Marcus will now, now receives you. Oh, great. You three come along with me. There we have the reason for our red numbers. His Holiness himself. Watch your tongue. Unlike you, I have a reputation to keep. You cannot blame the bad business on him alone. I can't. The church's division is squandering money all over the place. Soldiers, churches, priests, orphanages, and do you know in how many countries people still pay taxes? Almost nowhere. And I hear that you have you have had to close several locations. Where does the money you save go? It's probably running away with you, right away from you. You make it easy for yourselves. We may not make a direct profit, but the success of all of your departments is based on our work. We are the ones who civilize the barbarians. We turn monkeys into men so that they are able to use your tools and throw away into your throw money into your purses. Without the church, you are nothing. Hear, hear, well spoken. Enough. Stop it. All together. His Holiness certainly has good reason to come cl close some of his locations. I trust him. He is the foundation of our faith. I tolerate no disrespect. Forgive me, my lord. But it is time for results. I read the result the report from Volandis. Inquisitor Raphael, I trust you will be returning shortly. Oh, wait, it's a different person. Oh, no, I'll just hold the my lord. Normally, there'll be issues in your way, but his red eye demon is ending for tone. Red eye, do you say? My lord. Come, please come closer. The rest of you leave the room. My lord. Closer. Closer. Oh, impossible. My lord, you actually better than did you not. What do you mean, my lord? The Holy Mother. She is in Volandis. How can that be? Does fate bring them together? I don't know what I understand. From now on, you are under my direct command. But my faith binds me to his holiness. And it will stay his way, Raphael. Listen to me. Your mission remains basically unchanged, but beyond that, you have two things to do for me. First, somewhere in Volandis lies the grave of Lady Reina. You must find it. The grave of Lady Reina? But even more importantly is that you must bring the Holy Mother to me. She has returned. You met her at the banquet. Her name. She is Princess Celestia Valkyrie of Terran. Bring her to me, Raphael. She's the foundation of our faith and our company. A very long time ago, when Aldrea was still divided to thousands of kingdoms, and wars raged in every corner, an abyssal evil appeared. It is said that it was created out of the suffering, despair, and hatred of mankind. Within seven days, it plunged the world into a sea of flames, inexorably extinguishing life almost everywhere. No weapons existed that could destroy it. Aldrea seemed lost. However, with the power of the one god and under the guidance of the Holy Mother, evil could be sealed. Until today, it sleeps in its cage and waiting for its chance. The way it rivaled the Holy Mother's sign. The time for the final battle draws near. Raphael, we stand at the crossroads of destiny. It is your task that we follow the light on the right path. You are responsible for the future of this world. Uh-huh. Sure. Cool. Click save. Let's do a star level. As long as there's some of everything, it's good. I don't think I'm going to learn Power Pierce at this rate, but I'll put on Nukitsuke. It's one of the only buff moves she's got. Basso Fundo.
I can warp again. Fantastic. Which might become important later if I have to find the, the class item. Yoink! A snack? A whole sandwich? My wife got some delicious coffee today. Would you like to try some? Look out for where you're going. These mushrooms are worth some money in Tormund. Yeah, sure. Step on my mushrooms. Black tippet. Ooh, HP regen when your HP goes under 25%. Cool. That's not bad. That just makes water hit harder, right? That's bad. Yeah, she burns through TP like mad. There's a box right there. Uh. Oof! They're Vins. Soon, but thank you for stopping by. Oh my goodness. Earth. I'm doing the wrong move. 
Earth, so... Uh... Water jump! So these say go down this way or this way. Antidotes. this way. It'd be around here somewhere, wouldn't it? I don't think it's here, though. Shielded mail. No, he needs more magic points, but it's an NTP, so he's fine. I'll have to take off the thing. I almost off this thing. way before. Who are you, Aaron boys? Don't get in our way. I could kill you. The river's water doesn't even have any special properties. I wonder how it preserved the, how it preserved the body so well. I'm to cut these trees and make space for camp to expand. Doing all this alone makes it will take some time, though. Ah, I see. I'll come back here in the future. We probably made the discovery of the century. Hey, who are you? Away with you! You can find found numerous giant skeletons in the Quartar Mountains, but we never found such a well-preserved specimen. It almost looks alive. You'd think it'd be rising any moment. Would you like to pray the heroes of Leonar? Oh, this is where you, uh... This is where the class is. It's a good way to end the stream with this fight.
I greet you, Avengers of Valandis. My voice, echoing through thy heart, shall bestow upon thee the powers of ages long gone by. Prove thyself worthy, and thou shalt receive the gift. to water, right? Water jump! You have mastered the challenge, brave warriors, and proven thyself worthy. Accept the emblem offered by Cardillo the Vampire. Now go forth, brave warriors, and curious adventurers for thee of the future of Aldria. That's fine. Ether sucker, life sucker. Oh, oh these are good moves where you just need like to boost yourself a little. But you can only heal yourself. The ether sucker is the most important. Oh, well, although the life sucker could save in a pinch. Instead of decoy. I need to keep restrain. Oil slashes are circumstantial, but it's very funky. Gotta keep it going.
They were like, what, what were you doing in that statue? Nothing. I was having a spiritual battle. See if I can do that. Oh, my, I am over my stream time though, so I want to I want to thank everyone for stopping by today and joining me with the little Chain Echoes stream. Uh, but don't be too sad. We're gonna be back again in a couple of hours. Brian, Ryan, and myself. We're gonna be playing some Stardew Valley. Ugh! I get this challenge. There we go. We need a little bit more, but I think we're good here. No, we need 32 for another sacred water. But that challenge will finish off this stream. Thanks again, everybody. I'm going to see who I can raid. Someone, someone who's... Oh, hmm. I see good friend Craft Plus Cuties streaming, but so is Satin Sama. Um...
You know what? Let's let's see who else is playing Chain Echoes. <laughs> I see myself. I'm like, that's not right. But, yeah, uh, it was great seeing you all. I hope you have a great evening, that you stay safe out there. Um, I just want to make sure that this is a good channel. But, yeah, uh, I'll see if I can stream tomorrow. My schedule switched up again, but, like, yeah. Um, it's, like, you know, stuff happened. But, uh, yeah, I hope to get into... Uh, streaming back more regularly. Uh, oh, they're doing a St. Jude Children's Research Hospital charity stream. You know what? Yeah, let's jump over there. It could be worth it. Uh, I hope that they're a good character to jump over to, but yeah, we'll see. Have a good night, everyone. Stay safe out there. Work on your backlogs. Don't let the module let go. I'm going to hit the raid button now, and I'm going to move over in 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. Uh, come back in about two hours, and we'll be back with our Stardew Valley stream, so you know, be sure to jump back over here. And I hope to see you there with Brian, Ryan, and myself. See you later, everybody. It's the Mike from Geeksby Streams. Wishing you a happy night.